Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. I am Zambi and I am crazy excited about the video that you're going to watch today. So everyone out there wants to know what's the difference between all these gel brands and is there a best gel product? And honestly, I want to know this too. I've been using Gelish as my base and top coat for every single one of my manicures for about 10 years and I can depend on it. It is super durable. I have manicures that last five, six weeks at a time. My clients have minimal issues with chipping, if at all. And it's always just been something that I can count on. A couple of things that I do encounter, really one big thing that I do encounter with the Gelish is that it does stain kind of easily. Not all of my clients experience this. It does depend on the products that you use for your face, for your hair, makeup, and also sometimes clothes. But I do notice that clients have an issue with staining sometimes in the gel just it stains easily and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to clean most of the time you can't really clean it uh, unless you're like buffing it and repolishing your nail which we really don't want to deal with between manicures so in me trying to figure out whether or not I can find a top coat that doesn't stain I figured that I should just undertake a super huge mission right now and that is to try every single product out there we're talking the big popular brands like OPI DND perfect match and even some not so popular brands some that you can just find on Amazon and there's some Amazon choices like Beatles or Azure now there are tons of brands out there and I promise you I'm gonna be hitting all of them up uh, but today we're gonna be talking about a Beatles brand this brand I bought on Amazon I got a set of a base coat, top coat, and matte for like nine bucks, which is really awesome. It's a great price point compared to about like $35 that I spend for just a set of base and top coat for Gelish. Now the bottles were half the size of a normal bottle, but even if I buy two sets to get the same amount of base and top coat, I'm still spending half of the money that I would spend on Gelish. So it definitely starts off really, really nice and it had some good reviews. Now what I'm going to be looking for in this review and in every single review that I'm doing for you and presenting is looking at very specific things. Number one, consistency of the gel. Is it easy to work with? We're talking as a too thick, too thin, just overall consistency. Number two, is it nice and shiny when the manicure is done or does it, you know, not shine as much as another brand? I'm looking at durability of the gel. Am I able to count on this manicure to hold up to our daily tasks for at least two weeks or more? Definitely checking out to see if it's stain resistant or stains easily does the brand of gel color that I use with the product affect its durability and wear and overall how does the manicure look after the two weeks in general for me to get an accurate review and for me to feel comfortable in the results that I'm looking for I'm trying this out with three different clients all using three different brands of gel colors I do have a lot of different brands in my shop I'm not someone that really likes to stick to one thing because Let's face it, one brand isn't really gonna give me all the variety that I want. I maintain 250 colors in my shop pretty much at all times, and every brand just has a little bit something to offer that one's not gonna have available. So I really wanna make sure that these products are working with any brand because I'm not trying to buy specific base and top coats to match the products that I'm using for the color. So let's dig into these manicures that I did, and first we're gonna start off with first impressions and using the Beatles. All right guys, for this manicure, we're gonna be trying out Beatles gel polish top it off and foundation actually had really good reviews on Amazon um, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this one works we're going to be comparing it to my trusty gelish foundation and top it off this has been my constant in the five years that I've been doing this professionally and on myself I've always used the gelish I've always had great results so we're gonna try it out we're gonna be doing this with the DND polish and I'm trying out different brands of colors because I want to make sure that these base and top coats can really work with whatever colors we have, especially when we have so many different brands. So let's get to work. We're going to do this hand beetles, base and top, and then the other hand gelish. I definitely see that this base coat is very thin almost like a top coat. Let me make sure I'm using the base here, yeah, base. Thank you. 
of the gel was really nice. The polish color uh, went on very smoothly. It didn't run or streak. Very nice. I feel like I got a really good shine on both of these manicures. Let me get some of the oil off of this one. Oil makes it all a little... Yeah, it looks really good. The shine looks pretty even. I might say that the gelish looks a little bit shinier right now, but maybe. But they're looking really good. I can't wait to see how this one looks in two weeks. So this first manicure, we used a D&D polish. The next manicure for this client, we used an OPI polish. Uh, it looks super beautiful, super clean. I would say it looks almost identical to the gelish, maybe a little bit shinier, but that could just be me. And for my third client, I use a perfect match color, also looking super beautiful in first impression and very shiny. Again, maybe even a little bit shinier than the gelish. Now, as you can see, the client had one hand with the Beatles product and the other hand was our control. What I always use the gelish, what I know I can count on. I really wanted to make sure that we can truly see the difference in the same manicure. Two weeks later. All right, so I had these clients wear these nails for at least two weeks and all of them have their different functions. I have one client that was moving and getting stuff done, so it was perfect. I really wanted to see overall durability and not just the perfect two weeks to make sure that I'm getting a really good result and a really good look at what we should expect with this Beatles brand. My first client with the DND polish had no chips, uh, it wore really, really well. It actually even seems that the beetle stayed a little bit shinier. And the big difference that I noticed was that there were no stains on the hand that we used the beetle's base and top coat versus the gelish, which is really, really awesome. And that's really what I'm looking for is something that is as wearable and long lasting as gelish, but that can help me eliminate the possibility of these stains for my clients. So for my next client with the OPI color, she is definitely not someone that doesn't use her hands she's super hands-on does a lot of cleaning and her manicure like always came back absolutely perfect um, i definitely noticed that the beetle side was a little bit shinier and had no stains whatsoever compared to a slight discoloration in the gelish hand there were also no chips no lifting so overall again really really happy with the wear on this client's nails now this client right here was in the process of moving and she already knew that she was going to be doing a lot of stuff with her hands. So I was really curious to see how the wear would work out in this case. As you can see, the gelish side is totally intact, a little bit of staining on it, but it has totally survived her barbaric two weeks and moving and using her hands uh, really roughly. On the beetle side, still shinier, still no stains, but we see that the tips of the nails cracked a little bit. Now this client on occasion does come with a couple of chips on the tips of her working nails. Working nails meaning the fingers that are constantly in the way of everything. It's not often, but it is common that it can happen because her nail bed is a little bit softer. Um, and sometimes with the bending and her working and typing all the time, it happens that she'll come back with a couple of chips on the tip of her nails. But overall, I'm really happy with the look of the Beatles after the two weeks as far as it really staying shiny and resisting stains. So after the two weeks and seeing these three clients, I can definitely tell you that for nine bucks on Amazon, I am beyond excited with how good of a result I got on this product. Now, yes, my third client did come back with chips only on the beetle side, but like I said before, sometimes it does happen and I already was aware that every once in a while she does come with some chips on the tips just because her nails are a little bit softer when they grow out. She's, you know, really rough. She's working mom. She needs to get her stuff done and it, you know, it can happen sometimes. But when you see it compared to the gelish and the gelish being her dominant hand, you can see that the gelish definitely does still provide a little bit more durability. And I attribute that to what I consider to be flexibility of the gel. But I'm really loving that the Beatles was shinier and it resisted all the stains, like absolutely no stains on either of the hands that had the Beatles top coat, which is really, really awesome. And I'm very impressed with the quality of this product considering it was $8.99 for a whole set. And I'm really excited to try the matte coat, but that's gonna be on a different video. So out of the six points that I'm grading these products against, it's either going to be a hit or a miss. So unfortunately, it did miss a little bit in durability, but it's still got five out of six points that I'm looking at, which is really great. And then if we throw in the price point on there, $8.99 for an entire set of an overall really good product, especially for those that do their manicures at home, um, I would definitely say this is a win. And I'm really happy with the results that we got with this product. 
So I'm really happy with the Beatles. I hope everyone enjoyed this quick review and just keep in mind that it's not ending here. I've got tons of products that I'm testing out. We're starting off with base and top coats. We're gonna go over matte top coats. We're gonna be going over a lot of different products within the gel families. So if there's any brands out there that you want me to try, make sure to comment down below. And if I don't already have them, I promise you I will get them. And make sure that you're not missing out on these reviews because I promise you there's no one out there that's reviewing these products as thoroughly and as consistently as I'm going to be doing. I want the answers just as much as you guys want the answers and we're definitely going to get down to the overall question, what gel product is the best? So thank you so much and remember make sure to subscribe and like down below, hit the bell icon because with these reviews coming in it is definitely something you don't want to miss. I look forward to seeing the comments and I look forward to testing out all these products. I'm crazy excited and going absolutely mad buying a bunch of stuff but i absolutely love it so thanks everyone for tuning in i'm super excited to see you guys on the next one bye